those gyno girls are really putting the pressure on. We must have looked at a hundred women's bajingos today. Bajingo, bajingo, bajingo. I mean, I can't even look at my own bajingo, you know? Is that because it looks so much like a vagina? <laughs> Aging Dr. Backbone to the Bajingo Ward. <laughs> Dr. Reed! Mr. Murdoch was admitted with a COPD exacerbation. He responded well to antibiotics and bronchodilators, but he did develop a rash on his, um, private area. Sorry, on his what? His peepers. Excuse me? His shrink schwang. Dr. Reed, it's bad enough you run out on a patient in the middle of a pelvic exam, but you are a doctor, and you need to be able to say simple clinical words like penis or vagina or anal. Anal is not a dirty word, sir. Tell that to my wife. Oh, and Dr. Reed, your patient, Mrs. Burke, has developed a urinary infection. Apparently it hurts when she makes whizzy winkles through her sea biscuit. <laughs> you know, it's not my fault that dirty stuff makes me uncomfortable. Oh, whose fault is it? But more important than anything, more important than never letting yourself get fat is never let a man put his dirty how do you do into your bajingo. <sighs> Jorge, I need to see you in the potting shed. She was always yelling at Jorge in that potting shed. She never fired him, even after he kidnapped her and took her to Acapulco. JD, how am I supposed to reverse 26 years of uptight repression? This is a job for Miss Busybody Smarty Pants. I know what you have to do, and I'm gonna help you through this. All right, Elliot, you just have to ease into it, okay? Let's forget about patience for now and start with this. Oh, my God! She's got a tattoo of a teardrop on her bajingo. Is it sad? Her vagina, Elliot. She has a tattoo on her beautiful vagina. <gasps> this just isn't fair. Not fair at all. It's ridiculous. This is stupid. Elliot, I'm just trying to help. Yeah, you know what, Carl? I don't remember asking for your help, okay? does look a little sad. I always do. You can talk to me if you want. Elliot, I can't talk to you about sex. I don't understand any of that crazy gibberish you use. Penis is schwing something. Schwing schwang, peepers, or peep. Right, and vagina is? Disgusting, but also bajingo or hoo hoo. Here's the deal. I'm trying to get in the mood, right? And Carla's going on and on about her cervical mucus. Uh, but, but, mm -mm. From now on, Carpical mucus will be referred to as icky sticky. Icky sticky. Continue. Mm, we don't want any distractions while we're trying to make a baby. Mm. <laughs> okay, you gotta stop saying that. Case, we're role playing already. This is not real. Now let's just do this. All right. <sighs> 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 Promise me that you'll hold me like this when I'm pushing your baby out my bajingo. All right, I'm putting on a third condom. Case. <sighs> My bajingo's on fire. May 2004. What's a bajingo? The weird thing is, even though it's natural, sex can make us uncomfortable. You have a penis, and I have a vagina. That is so hot. But if we work at it, we can get beyond that discomfort. 